Are you going somewhere, Gemma? I'm going to Sumeragi Tomb to pay my respects. I have a friend buried there. I'm sorry for going at a time like this. I plan to come back as soon as possible. Sumeragi Tomb? Would you mind if I tagged along? I've never been out with you before, and I like going there. I don't mind. Shall we go then? Gemma hasn't come back yet. I guess paying your respects isn't something you rush. Maybe I'll go get my fortune told while I'm waiting. Oh, that Pocky collaboration should still be going on. Whoa! Sorry to keep you waiting. What's the matter? Is that a fortune? The fortune came with a Baki keychain I didn't have yet. You really do love this Baki. I mean, look how cute he is. Such a round and adorable face. Are those popular? Sorry, I just can't relate to young people. Yeah, really popular. They're often featured in magazines. They're so popular, they have a collaboration with Sumeragi Tomb. Do you want to give it a try? No, I'll pass. We've been here long enough. I had a lot to share since I hadn't been here in a while. You said you were here to see a friend. Can I ask who's grave? Some friends of mine. My parents, too. My family originally had a separate grave, but we moved them to this communal tomb since we're dismantling our own. Dismantling? I don't have any siblings or children. Since the Garrison family will end with me, there's no more need for individual graves. But you could have children in the future. I heard there are a lot of people who get married after retiring from the OSF. I'm sure a lot of people do, but I don't know anything beyond fighting. Besides, I could die in battle before I get to retire, just like my friends buried here. You haven't retired yet, but you're already thinking about your life ending? My actual age is already past 50. I think it's normal for OSF members my age to be thinking about their closing chapters. Really? I didn't think 50 plus was an age you'd be thinking about this kind of stuff yet. Besides, you could still fall in love. Nobody knows what could happen in the future. Fall in love? I don't think so. Although, I guess I can't say it's completely impossible. Yeah, there's still a possibility. You never know what might happen if you try new things. You might realize you shouldn't be wasting your time acting all old. Do I act old? Oh, I'm sorry. Well, I am actually old, after all. That's what I'm talking about. That right there. It's not good. I mean, you should just be more positive about this. We're children of the state. Try incorporating your inner child. Inner child? Like how? You better not suggest kick the can or spinning tops. No, I'm not talking about what they did in ancient times. I mean more like trying out the latest trends. Latest trends? No, I'm too... Actually... This magazine that had a feature on Baki made a list of trendy new restaurants and foods. I'm kind of interested, so do you want to go with me sometime? To be honest, I'm not all too interested. But I can see how you're doing this for me. I guess I could try it once. Great! I'll look into it then. Thanks, Gemma. No, I should be the one thanking you. Gemma, 
Want to go into town with me if you're free? Is something going on? We talked about checking out trends, remember? I looked up a lot of interesting places. Oh, that. Okay, I did promise you after all. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm sure you'll find something you like. I hope so. <sighs> Are you all right? Give me a little time to gather my thoughts. That was a lot to take in. I dragged him all over the place to show him the latest trends. But maybe I went a little overboard. Let's see. We've checked out all the new trendy spots. Was there one that caught your interest? What was that last one? I got mobbed by a herd of giant cats inside a room. Ah, the VR Cat Cafe. That was pretty crazy. It's apparently very popular with girls for their soothing effects. That was supposed to be soothing? Do youngsters these days find being buried in giant cats soothing? It was more like a nightmare. And before that one, we were trapped inside a tiny room and forced to do confusing puzzles. Right, the escape room. I thought that was pretty fun solving the riddles with vision. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed it, at least. Which means you didn't. Sorry, I should have researched better. No, I'm sorry to be complaining so much. It's not your fault. I just don't know how to enjoy them. I had no idea that amusement had changed so much. This is much different from the era I'm familiar with. To be honest, I can't keep up. I see. I'm sorry. Maybe we can grab something to eat to salvage the day. All right, but what to eat? I don't really eat here that often. They have a lot of different kinds of dishes here. What do you usually like to eat? Hmm. I'm not really very particular about my food. I guess I like gyoza if I had to choose. Gyoza? Oh, they have some interesting looking gyoza here. A new and popular dish the chef recommends. That's so. I don't really have a good feeling about it, but we came here to check out what's trending among the young people, after all. You don't need to force yourself. It's okay. I've made up my mind. Let's do what we came here to do. Thank you for waiting. Here's our restaurant's special variety gyoza platter. Please use any combination of these ten sauces. Enjoy! What, what is this? Green, yellow, red, black? Are these supposed to be gyoza? <laughs> uh, seems like these are the restaurant's original gyoza. Apparently, they all have different fillings. Their shapes are just as strange as their colors. I see a round one, a square one, and this one has spikes. Is this what gyozas have come to in this day and age? I can't believe how much the food I once knew has changed. Hmm? Well, they look weird, but they actually taste really good. Why don't you try one? Eat this? I am not thrilled about it. But I can't stand here and waste food. All right. Hmm. You're right. This doesn't taste bad. It's not what I'm familiar with, but it's interesting. I'm glad you like it. Yeah, they look weird, but you can't know until you eat them. Maybe I was too wary because they seem strange. They're pretty delicious. If you can appreciate these, that means you learned how to enjoy one of the latest food trends. Hmm. Just because these gyozas happen to taste good doesn't mean I've learned to adapt to this age. I think your ability to appreciate them is important. That you were able to get past the way they look. You may have a point. At the end of the day, people still enjoy the same types of things. Even if those things may have changed. Yeah, exactly. I may have failed choosing good spots for you today, but I had fun checking them out together. I wasn't able to enjoy the newest trends, but I did have fun walking around the city. I felt behind the times every time I experienced something new. Time may pass, but our true nature remains constant. Just that our perspectives may have changed. Mmm. That hit the spot. Thank you for the meal. You're finished eating already? You must have really liked those. This might be my new favorite food. I guess trying new things isn't so bad. Well, let's do this again sometime. That's fine with me, but please, no more of that cat cafe. 
I don't dislike cats, but it's unsettling when they're that large. <laughs> uh, sorry about that. Okay, we won't go there again. It seems part of it was a little too much for him. But I'm glad he ended up enjoying himself overall. I'm stating the obvious, but you're young. Well, I'm younger than you. I know I was young once, too. I just can't really remember it. You should cherish this time while you have it. I think I'm beginning to learn who you are as a person. I feel like I've learned about you, too. Hey, Gamma. Are you free right now? Do you want to go somewhere with me again? Hmm. <sighs> Gamma? Hmm? Sorry, I was just thinking. Is something the matter? I'm here if you need to talk. Yeah, maybe I should talk to someone. One of my friends who retired from the OSF has gone missing. Are there any leads? I first learned about it when I got a message from his younger brother. We hadn't talked in a while. He asked me if I might have any ideas, but I couldn't give him any. I was just wondering what to do now. I can see why you're worried. Is there anything I can do? No, I can't trouble you with this. It's a personal problem. But I want to help. Why don't you just tell me what you can? It couldn't hurt. Hmm. Thank you. I'll take you up on that. The friend who went missing was an old classmate, and then we worked together in the same platoon when he was still in the OSF. But as the years went by, the anti-aging medication's effects weakened, and his body began to age. It's something all children of the state have to face eventually, but he reached his limit sooner than me. His powers waned as he aged, and fighting became too difficult. He retired this past spring. I see. I'm glad he managed to retire safely and not get hurt or die. Yeah, but children of the state face a tough situation after retirement. The body ages normally after they stop taking the medication, but the abuse their brains sustained over so long a time is significant. Many retired soldiers deal with various issues, stemming from their body's changes exacerbating their brain's fatigue. It's that tough for them? Can't they treat that with medication? I hear there are many who receive treatment, but it's not easily cured. If it becomes prolonged, it also affects the patient psychologically. Do you think your friend wasn't feeling well after retiring? Yeah, he was tired, physically and mentally. I tried my best to stay in touch after he left, but after a while he just kept asking me about the OSF and my missions. It seemed like he wanted to come back. He missed his old job after having trouble adjusting to retirement. I mean, he was with the OSF for decades after all. It's tough to instantly change your life. He never wanted to retire to begin with. Those who can no longer fight will never be able to return to the OSF. <sighs> I decided to distance myself from him, so he can finally move on from the military and build a new life for himself. I didn't reply to his messages or meet up with him. Looking back now, I was probably too harsh. His brother said it was cold of me to cut off all contact like that. <laughs> I can't blame his brother for saying that. It might be my fault he disappeared. Maybe I pushed him away when he needed me the most. You did it for your friend's sake. You can't blame yourself for that. For now, you should do what you can. Have you tried calling your friend? No, I haven't reached out to him yet. Then try messaging him. Even if you don't know where he is, it should reach him if he's safe. Maybe he's just waiting for you to contact him. <sighs> You're right. Waiting here won't get me anywhere. I'll take your advice and do whatever I can. <sighs> There's no reply. He might need time to notice the message. Let's wait a little longer to see if it reaches him. Or it reached him, but he's not planning to reply. <sighs> There's no way for us to know. Back when we were in the OSF together, we could easily brain talk with each other and had GPS to know our location. Yeah, that's not available since he retired. He has to go through the trouble of accessing a terminal. I can't really relate how inconvenient things are after you retire. But he must have been going through a lot. Yeah. 
why don't you keep messaging him and wait to see what happens for now? I'll see if there's anything else we could do. I'm glad for your help. I'll let you know if I learn anything. Okay. Poor Gemma. I never really thought about what people do after they retire. Is there anything more I can do? I know. The OSF database could have information on Gemma's friend. <sighs> the data's locked. I guess that's not a surprise. Wataru, you got a sec? Yo, what's up? There's an OSF matter I want you to look into whenever you're free. OSF? So, information that can't be found through official channels. Okay, send me the info. I'll look into it. Thanks, Wataru. I hope we find a lead on Gemma's friend. Gemma, have you gotten a little bigger? Hmm, huh, have I? My training has been going well lately. Wow, did you have a change of heart or something? It's a little embarrassing, but I don't want you to get better than me. You can laugh at me for being a silly old man. Sure. Gemma, got a minute? What is it? Did something happen? I had Wataru go through the list of retired soldiers after we talked about your friend. I told him he was missing since I thought that was important. I'm sorry. Well, that's fine. Nobody's trying to hide that. So, did you find out anything? I haven't looked yet. I thought you might be able to notice something if we looked at it together. I'm sending the data to you now. This lists the present status of retired OSF members. I told him to only look at members who retired this past spring, so I'm pretty sure your friend is on here. Oh, I found him. Masaki Fujikawa. There's even details on his living situation. Why is the OSF tracking retired members so thoroughly? Wait, what? What's wrong? This is ridiculous. Look here. Let's see. Shortly after entering the OSF hospital, Masaki Fujikawa died? No. I don't buy it. If he died in the hospital, his family would have been notified. Something doesn't add up. You're right. There are too many here that are listed as dying in the hospital, and all of them in such short periods. No matter how supposedly damaged these retired soldiers are, they can't all need hospitalization that badly. Hey guys, so I dug a little deeper on that retirement list you're talking about. Seems pretty clear to me these are doctored. Publicly, they all died in the hospital. However, there's no record of their bodies being moved. There's a chance they're still alive in there. Really? I can't say for sure, but they went through the trouble of falsifying these records. Which means there's a high chance the hospital is involved in something unsavory. Are they being used in human experiments? Many retired soldiers don't have families. It's a horrible thing to say, but nobody's asking questions if they turn up missing. I'd like to say it's only a guess, but going by the OSF hospital's previous track record? Then we should get on this now. If they're being used in human experiments, we need to save them right away. Data. Huh. The data lists them being admitted to the new OSF hospital building. Though maybe they were moved to the old building for experimentation. That's possible, but there's actually something else suspicious I found. I was tracking the vehicles going to and from the OSF hospital to see what they're up to. And I found a strange vehicle that would head from the hospital to Ceyron once in a while. There's actually one out now. I can't imagine they'd be making deals with Ceyron right now. What are they doing? I don't know, but they could be transferring the patients to some facility we're not aware of. We should start by tracking down that vehicle, since that's our only lead. They need to cross the river if they're heading to Seiron. We should be able to find it if we head to Mizuhagawa. I'll see if I can find more info on it. Thank you for helping me find Masaki. Let's find him soon.
good news, you two. I managed to access the details of that vehicle leaving. That's the vehicle Wataru was talking about. What is it doing stopped there? They're unloading something. They look like garbage bags. I don't see any patience. So it was a garbage truck? Does that mean Wataru's information was wrong? No. They'd be taking trash to the garbage facility. So what are they? Let's check their contents after they leave. I'm getting a bad feeling. Yeah. It's targeting that bag. But why? It's what I feared. No, stay away from that. Gemma! Damn it. I guess we're doing this. Use this. Bags are... Damn it. It was too late. Masaki's already... Not just him. They treated all these people like they were trash. They fought for decades, risking their lives to fight for humanity. None of them deserve to end like this. <sighs> I'm sorry. I lost my cool for a moment. Anybody would if they found out their friend was treated this way. I'd like to bury the ones who didn't get eaten by the other. Do you mind waiting here? I'll help. Let's give them a proper burial. Thank you. You too, Wataru. I appreciate your help. I'll have to tell Masaki's younger brother later. I don't mean to overstep, but... Would it be okay if I went with you? I'd appreciate that. You must be Gemma. Yes. There's something I need to tell you about Masaki. I'm sorry, but your brother has died. What? Are you certain? Yes. I can't share the details with you as it's classified. But he passed away in the hospital and was buried in a secret location. Oh. I'm sad to hear that. I'm sorry. If I'd only found him sooner. It's okay. Please allow me to apologize as well for calling you cold. Huh? I actually received a message from my brother after I spoke to you, saying he had to be taken into the hospital. He told me not to worry about him and that he might not be able to contact me for a while. He also shared his true feelings. Let me send you his message. He... My brother was thankful to you for your tough love, for trying to help him move on from the OSF. After everything we've been through together, I don't have to talk to him to know what he's thinking. Gemma was always there for me. Awkward and earnest. Masaki. It was my misunderstanding. My brother's memories of you were always there helping him. My brother wrote that he was ready to build a new life, free from the past, once he's discharged from the hospital. Unfortunately, that never happened. But he never would have had that hope if it wasn't for you. Thank you for saying that. I'm glad I was able to meet you today. Goodbye. <sighs> Gamma? You knew what I was trying to do. Your brains weren't connected, but your hearts were. Masaki. Is he crying? <laughs> Sorry. We should go back to the hideout. Okay. Yuito, will you train with me later? I work harder when someone is with me. Sure. Oh, but take it easy on me. You train pretty hard. Got it. I'll be careful. I mean, I'm not going to try and crush you with weights or anything. I'm devoting myself to becoming your shield. That's what I think is most important right now. You 
have a second, Yuito? There's somewhere I'd like to take you. Okay. Where are we going? A cemetery near Sumeragi Tomb. I'm going to go pay respects to my friend Masaki. There wasn't a body we could bury, but his brother added his name to the family grave. So he has a proper grave. Yeah, let's go. Are you sure you don't need more time? No, this was enough. He already knew everything I wanted to tell him. I was thinking about what went down at Mizuhugawa. There were so many people discarded that way. Yeah. We only found one truck's worth, but I'm sure there were many more before it. They say that many retired soldiers die quickly or go missing. I thought it was just the toll of serving in the OSF. But it could be all the government's doing, trying to secure the brains they need. I wouldn't be surprised if the government did that. It's chilling to think about. They use what's useful and discard what isn't. People are just tools to this nation. But we aren't tools. We have a chance for another life when we can't fight anymore. I won't forgive them for taking away that possibility and discarding them like trash. I feel the same. That's the way they treated my best friend. You mean Nagi? Yeah. He and Masaki both had so much life ahead of them. We need to end these types of things from happening in our lifetime. I thought that my role in the OSF was ending. But it looks like there's this giant task still left. I want to right this nation's wrongs and protect the future. As someone who is still remaining. You're not planning on doing that all by yourself, are you? I'd like to help, too. Thanks. I appreciate it. Don't mention it. Well, shall we head back to the hideout? Wait, right. there's somewhere I want to stop by. Okay, where are we going? I wanted to go to this restaurant, but I couldn't bring myself to go in alone. I'd be grateful if you came with me. Surprise original Gyoza Suzaku. That's an impressive sounding place. I became more interested in food since our last excursion. I started looking up trendy new restaurants on food websites when I have time. So, you have a new hobby. Is it nearby? Yeah. I realized when I looked at the website that Masaki and I used to go there together all the time. The restaurant's name and atmosphere completely changed after the previous owner died, so I hadn't visited since. But there's no point in only looking at the past. I have to try the new gyoza for myself. Their popular dishes are the Ogre Hell Gyoza and Final Dragon Gyoza? Hard to imagine those are names for food. It doesn't matter what their names are, what matters is how they taste. It's good to be adventurous. <laughs> You're right. Although, that's not something you would have said just a short while ago. Perhaps. I was too stubborn. I need to be less afraid of trying new things. I'll honor Masaki's memory by enjoying what life I have left. You look at peace. I think you've gotten younger. Don't be ridiculous. But a weight has been taken off my shoulders. It's been a while since I felt this way. All right. Let's try these surprise gyoza then. Eat as much as you like. It's my treat. Maybe we can take some back to the hideout for everyone. That's a good idea. I just hope they taste as strange as their names. No kidding. <laughs>